guys, Katrina here at the Zebra Wheelie. Welcome back to my channel. And um, for any new subscribers, thank you for subscribing, obviously. Uh, now, I've noticed uh, a few people, well, quite a few people have been watching my videos, but not they're not subscribed. Now, it's pretty easy to set up a YouTube channel. And plus you get lots of good videos and uh, documentaries and films and stuff to watch if, you ha if you're having a really bad day. So it's, it's really worth the while trying going to set one up. Uh, anyway, I've, I'm in bed today because I'm having a, a pain day. My fatigue is okay so today so I'm just lying in bed to keep warm and and to try and soothe the pain. I find that the heat helps soothe the pain. Anyway, uh, last week I got a letter from the, the infamous Capita about being changed over to PIP. And I have to go for a, what they call a face-to-face -face assessment for personal independence payment on the 25th of this month, September. Um, they want to come out to my house, but the last time that I had that done at my house, they sent out a complete, the guy that sent out was a complete and total twat. Uh, so I'm going to ask them to send me to another place that I've been to before and I've had great experiences with them. Uh, I'll fight it all the way if they don't if they don't want me to to go there like a I might even ask for a female doctor as well so they don't get a different person, you know. But uh anyway my free of the shave is coming up in two weeks. I'm really looking forward to it and also sorry my brain fog is terrible today uh, I have uh, invested it in a cheap uh, smartphone tripod so no more shaky hands uh, Anyway, today's video has a bit of a touchy subject. Uh, uh, I will do my best to explain how to help a family member come to terms with your disability or your chron chronic illness. Uh, it seems to me, especially with the older generation, they don't accept that young people can be disa as disabled as they are, or if not worse. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell you how, how I did it, basically. Uh, my extended family have always had trouble accepting my disability. Uh, it wasn't until recently that they finally accepted it. Uh, basically, as you know from my other videos, I have had EDS all of my life, but I was only diagnosed when I was 23. Until then, it was largely hidden. And slowly over the years, it became more and more visible. First of all, I w went on one crutch. No. First of all, I had a hand splint on my, my right wrist. Which is totally useless to me now because I'm in a chair, you know, I can't push with it. But, uh... Then... Then I moved on to one crutch. And then needing them soles, which you couldn't really see anyway, but couldn't walk without them. And then eventually it worked up and 
until I needed a wheelchair. And it wasn't until I went into the wheelchair that my family finally accepted it. Uh, oh, sorry, it was really hard. You're never too young to be disabled. There's no such thing as too young to be disabled. It can happen at any age. But all I got from my extended family was, oh, you're too young for that. You can't be having that. It's, it's an older person's thing. It's, it wasn't. My dad now, he, he has been disabled for years as well. So he he accepted it straight away. Although it took, it took him a couple of weeks, like, but more or less straight away. He just accepted it. And he didn't make a fuss over it, which is great. I hate when people make a fuss over me. Uh, the very first time that my extended family seen me in a wheelchair was uh, a couple of months ago. And I was at a funeral. Um, at my uncle's funeral, he passed away from cancer, which is why I'm doing the, the whole Brave the Shape thing. Uh, There was a whole argument about me coming in, into the funeral with my wheelchair. Um, as I basically said to them, look, if you don't let me bring my chair, I could end up in hospital or you, you could end up burying me as well. Uh, and then... I was after the funeral we were going into the pub for the, the after do and they seen me try to walk in through the door because the, the pub wasn't accessible and I nearly fell on top of one of my cousins but then my, my aunt just asked me lots and lots of questions about it and why I needed the wheelchair was it not ashamed to be out in public in one and I just said no, I'd rather be out in public and one than be stuck in the house all day. Feeling sorry for myself and getting myself more and more depressed. And then in turn not making my health worse. But she will come round. My, my grandmother didn't accept it for years until after my uncle died. Which is sad that it, it happened like that. It's sad that it took that to happen before she actually accepted my illness can be so severe. Uh, but uh, she is coming around to it. I can still walk a little bit with my leg braces on, which I will show you in the next video. Uh, but now she's being really careful about me. But last time when I went to see her, she asked me, "Was I okay getting in and out of the the house?" And just shows you that she's worried about me, like, but doesn't make it any easier. My advice to you would be to just break them in slowly. Let them come to terms with it bit by bit, because if you do it all at once, it's going to be too much for them to accept all at once, because don't forget they do love you. And I'm sure they don't mean it to come out or cross as nasty, but it, it is hard when they say it. It is really hard when they say stuff like that. Uh -oh. I'm sure my family will come around to it in time, as slowly as... My aunt works in a care home and she didn't understand how people 
with disabilities in the community live. She thought because her people in the car home needed a quite a lot of help that uh, people in the community couldn't do anything for themselves either. Like, I, I, I can still do things like put the microwave on or something, but it just takes a lot more energy and I have to have days like today where I just do nothing and recharge and recuperate. Anyway, uh, I got myself, a, I think I said before, but I got myself a, a little tripod out of uh, Poundland. But sure, I'll, it'll do until I get something more substantial. And I'm ho hoping to save up for a, a laptop and a decent camera, so... But I really wish, please wish, wish me luck for this uh, capita assessment because I could lose my, my car and then therefore my independence if I lose my pep or get uh, downgraded. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this, this Brave the Shave thing on the 1st of October because I'm finding it more and more difficult to look after. My hair, my hair is really thick and I can't even straighten it anymore because my hands are just too screwed. But, uh, and my dad also bought me a, a little case for my, my smartphone. I'm filming at the minute so I'm using my smartphone. But nice pink sparkly. I love things that are pink and sparkly big child that I am. Uh, anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and most of all, most important of all, subscribe because you won't get any notifications if you don't subscribe. And hello to my, my viewers from Thailand and Brazil. Okay, see ya, bye bye.